Hello Team Libra, welcome back. This is for your love reading. <laughs> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're new, the energies can go either way. So if I say Libra, I can be talking through the energies of the cross watchers. So the energy can go either way, which means reversed. So keep that in mind. This will not resonate with every Libra on the planet or cross watcher. And also I'm doing a free um, reading contest. If you're interested, follow the directions at the end of this video and you um, can enter that way. It's not through email, so please don't email me. Follow the directions and you'll be entered. I will notify the winner after um, in January, okay? So let's get into it. So Libra, I do feel that for some of you, you're, you're um, coming, you're not coming. So there's some unhealthy attachments that there has to do with family, okay? And this could also mean your childhood, okay? So um, what Spirit is asking you to do at this time is pay attention to the behaviors of the people around you, what has to do with family. This could also have to do with kids if you have children. And this also has to do with any fixed um, attachments you have to outcomes of like, let's say, how certain family members are supposed to react or um, how your children or whoever is around you. And also, this has to do with healing those inner child wounds when you were growing up, okay? So healing those wounds because there's some unhealthy attachments that I'm picking up on here. And this also has to do with whoever um, whoever is thinking of having a child or something like that, or that you want to get pregnant, whoever that is, um, this is a small group of you, there's delays in that. And this has to do with your attachment to the time when you get pregnant okay so try not to attach yourself to time when it has to do with you know um when you're gonna get pregnant or not this has to do with clearing out all those wounds that you've had in your family um the connections you have towards people who have hurt you forgiveness is coming in really strongly spirit is saying so forgive, let go, let go of the expectations you have of other people by forgiving them and changing your reaction to how sometimes just accepting that some people will not change, okay? You can only control yourself. You can't control other people, okay? So that's the message for this. Oh, and this spirit wants to say that this has a lot to do with the boundaries that you are setting when it has to do with family. And the boundaries you're setting when it has to do with your connections with people in general, okay? People who you consider are your loved ones, okay? So this also has to do with the past. You right now, Libra, are closing out a cycle, okay? Before you start the next cycle in your life. And that a lot of... Um, you're coming out of these this negative mindset, okay? These dark thoughts of, you know, just being, um, I don't want to say being negative, but you've been through a lot for some of you that I'm, I'm picking up on. Like you've been through a lot of hard times and you've had a lot of struggles. So this is you coming out of that consciousness and realizing that everything that is um, being... Um, you feel like it's being taken away is actually, um, you're not losing anything. Things are coming to you. It's to open up the doorway for your new beginning. So whatever is you feel that you're losing or it's been taken away for you or that you've had to let go of, let it go energetically too. Not only in your physical environment, let it go energetically because you are closing out the cycle that needs to be closed out in your life and that has a lot to do with um, <clears throat> honoring your boundaries is what Spirit is saying. Honoring your boundaries with people and how much you give 
and what you expect to, okay? So balancing that out and you have spirit with you. You have Archangel Uriel and Raphael, okay? Archangel Uriel helps you with, you know, the Akashic Records, Karma, and Raphael helps you to heal the relationships that you have been in, helps you to heal physically too because some of your pain has been showing up in your emotional body. So for a lot of you, this means taking up some sort of exercise routine, um, whatever you consider as exercise, meditation, yoga, whatever it is, okay? They're with you and all you have to do is ask them for their, for your, ask them for help, okay? That's what spirit is saying, okay? So don't think that you're alone. I do feel like a lot of you are closing out the cycle that needs to be closed out. And some of you, when it comes to this connection, um, you have your, I feel like you're, there's this moving on energy that you're feeling like, okay, like, um, it's not working out. And what spirit is saying is like, okay, you need to evaluate what your boundaries are when it comes to this connection. Okay, so let's get into what they mean with that. So let's get into the cards. Woohoo! Look at that. Empress, you are in your energy, Libra. If this is you, which I do feel like it is, you have pulled back your energy from someone. I do feel that. You're focusing on you. You're focusing on self-love is what I'm getting, okay? And you're not going to try to make things to happen because it's feeling forced now on your part, okay? So I do feel like somebody has been showing up not the way you want them to. And you're kind of, you know, um, you're like, okay, do I deserve this? Do Is this what it's supposed to be? And you're thinking, no, this is not what it's supposed to be. Um I want it a certain way and I'm not getting it a certain way and I'm no longer going to be holding on to something that is not in the physical, you know, um, okay, it's about honoring yourself is what they're saying. You're honoring your boundaries now. It's like you know what you want now, okay, um, and you're not going to let anybody make you think otherwise. So I feel like with this energy, the person that you are dealing with romantically um, they try to give it to you in a different way than you wanted. And now, um, you, you put up with this for a while, Libra, and now you're in this energy where like, if you want me, come and get me the way that I want it. Okay. So I do feel like you were pretty lenient with this person that I'm describing from the past, but now you're in your abundance you are ready for new beginnings and it's like you're you're no longer in this energy sorry guys my hair is like all over the place um you're no longer in this energy where you're worrying about what they're doing what they're you know what they're thinking you're no longer losing sleep over it because you are evolving is what i'm feeling okay and you are being really strong, and you're stronger than you think, okay? Um, this is about no more stress. You're not doing that to yourself anymore. I feel like a lot of you promised yourself, like, I'm not doing this anymore. Yep, okay. Ooh, yep. So this is what this is what I'm talking about. So this is an ending of a cycle, okay? And some of you feel very uncomfortable at this time because you're kind of surprised at yourself too, like how strong you are. And you're looking back to yourself and thinking, wow, why wasn't I strong before? But everything happens for a reason. And throughout this experience, Libra, you're learning. You're learning a lot of lessons throughout this experience that you've had with this person, this recent person that I'm speaking about, or this could be somebody that you've been um, with for a long time, okay? But you are learning this. There is a new opportunity that is about to come through, 
um, there's this new um, chance that I'm seeing, okay? So let's see what this chance is about because, what is this? Something new. For those of you who want to start a business, um, I feel like there's going to be um, an opening. Oh, they're calling it an opening. Whatever that means. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what this is. Whoa. Okay. Um something new is coming in. Sorry guys, hold on. I have to see what this is. Oh my god, and there it is. <laughs> wow. Okay, Libra. So I feel like some of you are just in hermit mode and you're not really communicating with your person, okay? And you are thinking to yourself, you can, okay, this is the energy I'm picking up on for some of you. This could go vice versa, but I'm going to say in Libra's, um, Libra's perception, okay? The person that you, I feel like you pulled back your energy from someone, you're not talking you're going within yourself and trying to figure out things at this time. You have a lot of feelings that you're going back and forth with, but this is all coming um, to an end. The confusion is coming to an end. You're, it, you're, it's not that you're indecisive, but you're indecisive, you know, with about. You're not indecisive about this person right now. I do feel like you're, you're just about ready to make some change in your life okay and you know it's coming you feel it you're like something's got to give something new is coming in and it is but you're learning right now okay you're learning things about yourself like I said how to set boundaries thinking more logical and not really um you're you're balancing out the mind okay and your heart okay as to um there needs to be a balance I can't keep giving and giving and putting time and energy in this connection and not, you know, receiving anything in return, not getting what I want, how I want it, okay? So I do feel like the person that you're dealing with is actually stuck themselves, okay? They're in hangman position because they don't know how to present. Um, this is what I'm feeling. It's like this, this idea of, you want things in a certain way, this person can give it to you in a certain way. They've been stuck in this for a while, okay? But I do feel like this person could be coming off cold to you in a sense where like, okay, you can't give me what you want, but you're still being cold about it, okay? I do feel like the stoic energy of this person. And what I want to say with this is that we got the emperor, Okay, this is a true pair connection. So Libra, th what I want to say is that I'm picking up on two energies. I'm picking up on this person has a delayed. Um, so it could be that you are waiting for this person to come along. It's taking them forever because they're stuck in whatever energies they're stuck in. Um, and... You want your emperor because you're like, I'm an empress. I need my emperor. And gender does not matter, guys, so don't pay attention to that. It's really the energy of these cards, okay? So as you are evolving and loving yourself and honoring yourself and your boundaries, an emperor is coming in, okay? So I can't say for all of you it's this past person because I do feel like spirit is saying the person you're dealing with is really looking at things from a logical perspective and um, that's why they're not communicating with you, okay? I do feel like communication is not really there. Um, they're looking at things in a logical perspective right now, okay? So whatever they're doing here, 
it's suspended. So you might have been waiting for this person. It is still sus uh, suspended. It is delayed is what they're saying. Their enlightenment has been delayed, okay? So, um, but this could be a completely new person, Libra. <clears throat> so I'm getting two different energies. I'm getting that the person um, that it's been delayed, you've been, you know, you could possibly have been waiting for this person for a while, okay? They're finally, like, how should I say it? They are being enlightened at this time. Their enlightenment process is taking a while for them to see things in a different light, okay? For that person, it's it's delayed, okay? But for whoever that's coming in, okay, whether this be a new person, a new emperor, okay, this is definitely a true pair connection. Whether it is the past person or the new person, and I'm getting two different mixes with this, okay? So you could be have you could have been waiting for this person for a while. You know it's delayed and you've given up hope. You've given up hope, Libra, when it has to do with the past person. You do think of them, but you're just doing you now. And um I could hear you guys. You're just thinking if this is the past person, they better come to it right, okay? Um, here's the thing, guys. Your person from the past has a very, um, it doesn't matter their age. I really don't go into age, but the person from the past, it's like the way they communicate with you is, um, is immature, okay? But like I said, they're going through a transformative process. They are going through a healing process is what spirit is saying. So if there is communication, it's not going to be the way you want it. And you're thinking, hey, if there's communication, it better be the way I want it. I'm getting that kind of um, vibe from you, Libra. But I do feel like there is some type of, you know, coming together when it has to do with you and the past person. It's just that it might not come the way you want it right now if this person from the past tried to communicate with you, okay? But for some of you, you're just waiting for a text or something like that. Um, I don't know. This is a very complicated energy with this person that I'm feeling. Oh, okay, yeah, like I said, they're going through a transformation, so, um, sorry guys, give me a second, I have to pull this up, okay, ooh, look at that, so, listen, Libra, whether this be your person from the past, or this could be a new person, okay, they're manifesting you. So whoever that's coming in, and I know that it's going to be an emperor energy, they're coming in, but it has been delayed. I know a lot of you feel right now like something is going to happen. Something new is coming in. I could feel it. You're feeling good vibes, Libra. You possibly are getting like spiritual messages, like there's like all these messages that you're getting, like something new is coming, something new is coming. Yes, it is coming. And you're manifesting, you're manifesting love. You're manifesting a soul partnership. You're manifesting the partnership that you want. It's just that The person that you're dealing with or are going to be dealing with, they're going through their own transformative process right now, okay? So this guy, like I said, it could be somebody new, but this is a true pair. 
this is a true pair. It's like the emperor and the empress. I mean, like you can't, this is like twin flame, soulmate, call it what you will, call it all the labels, you know, this is what's coming in for you. And as you're learning the lesson and as you're learning boundaries and you're holding your ground, Libra, okay, in the Empress energy, your Emperor is coming, okay? So I know a lot of you are like, what? This is a general reading, guys. So I don't know if this is an old person or the new person. So just keep in mind that it is coming, okay? So peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. Yeah, this is about balance because when you are um, honoring your boundaries, then you come into balance with yourself and that brings you peace, okay? And you know that you could do this in a loving way. I do feel like somebody, um, there's a sweet message coming through, okay? I do feel like that, but release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. Yeah, so what Spirit is saying with this is that if you can't take certain things, if certain things feel like a burden to you or you're having issues with releasing things from the past, releasing any heart, pain, attachments that you have, ask spirit to help you release that because you are closing out a cycle. That's why you feel, some of you could be feeling anxiety because the messages are coming through and confusing you even, either, yeah, even more from spirit and you're possibly getting like mixed messages, you know, and this is for you to come into yourself. Um, practice meditation, guys. Yoga, too, really helps. If you don't want to meditate, do some yoga. Um, stretch. Stretching. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So this is about you standing in your truth, okay? So the thing is, is that once you come into this balance, which you are coming into Libra, and this healthy boundary setting you're doing with people, then you are comfortable with giving out the love that you are giving out. Not that you're not giving out love. It's just that for, for a while you've been you've been thinking like, oh, have I been used? Have I been taken advantage of? Okay. So once you, you set those healthy boundaries, you're not going to feel like that anymore. Okay. Yeah. So one more guys, they want me to tell you, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Okay. So this, there's a lot of manifesting going on here. Libra, I don't know what you've been doing, but you're manifesting what you want. But spirit is saying you got to release those things. Release the family um, pain, hurt, forgive. Um, and also the inner child wounds is what I'm picking up on. If you have any issues with your mother, is um, make sure you clear that, okay? Whether they're here or not, what I mean is... Um, whether they have transitioned or not, make sure that you do that, okay? Because you are really coming into yourself. This person is coming. Your emperor is coming, Libra. Or if you're the emperor, your empress is coming. Whoever it is, the emperor and the emperor, the empress and the emperor are meeting. Wow, I can't talk today. Okay, um, so that's great. I love this for you. I love this reading. You are just ending a cycle for the new cycle to begin the new cycle is bringing in your person, okay? Like if you're, the masculine and feminine are coming together. I love this energy. You both are coming into your own, okay? It's only a matter of time. Spirit says we know it's been delayed, but hang on tight, okay? Hang on tight and focus on you and the healthy boundaries is what their focus is, their message is for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Give me a like if you have. And also, if you're interested in the um, 
the free reading contest, all you have to do is comment below. Make sure you respect everybody on this platform. You can comment whatever you want, okay? And at the end of your comment, um, write my channel name, Empire333. Make sure you're subscribed because I will notify the winner on 111, 111, okay? That might have some significance to you also. I wish you all the best, Libra. Happy New Year, and I will see you soon. Take care.